we see time as being constant, as something that moves uh, inexorably into the future in, in one direction. But uh, is it really a constant? Uh, is time actually moving at all? Or are we moving through time? Now, Einstein's view of, uh, of time could be described as uh, like a vinyl record, if you remember the old vinyl records, uh, where the stylus hit the groove. That's where our attention is focused. And when we're focused there, that's what we perceive as being the now. And then the future are the future grooves, the past are, you know, where the grooves went through and so forth. Yet that whole record still exists all of that time. Now, for those of you who may not uh, remember vinyl records, there's CDs and MP3 players and so forth, and uh, you know, some of the newer technology, it's a little bit more difficult to develop a metaphor for. Uh, however, that's really the question. How, uh, that's one way to develop an image of Einstein's view of time. And actually, Einstein plus uh, 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 scientists are more and more uh, believing that Einstein was absolutely right about time. Uh, so how do we develop that image? What do we do? Uh, Star Trek is, uh, is great for uh, metaphors on time. Uh, they've uh, covered time quite a bit, quite frequently, in, uh, through their series. Uh, there's one episode where uh, there was a time warp. Uh, the Starship Enterprise had gone through a time warp, and uh, uh, all of a sudden there are, I think, uh, six or seven different uh, uh, Starship Enterprises coming from different times and different experience. And that's, uh, you know, that's really great. It's an interesting way to visualize it. Is that the way it really is? Is that the way time works or will work when we have that kind of technology? Who knows? But uh, I, I love the idea that artists these days are tackling that issue, the issue of time, and how do we develop an image of time as it really is, according to uh, what science is telling us today.